time to ask Abby and Andy, the segment where you, the viewers, write in to ask advice from us, Abby and Andy. That's right. Tonight's letter comes to us from a woman in Pennsylvania who writes, Dear Abby and Andy, I've been talking to some of the gals in my office, and we all seem to share a similar problem with our husbands and boyfriends. We can't seem to get our partners to be sensitive to our needs in bed. Whenever they feel like they're in the mood, which seems to be more often than not, they just expect us to be ready at the drop of a hat, or more specifically, the drop of their pants. <laughs> After two years of marriage, my husband's knowledge of my body or my romantic needs is minimal. And when I try to communicate my dissatisfaction to him, he compares me to those women in penthouse who always seem to be eager and willing whenever the man is. How do I get him to be romantic and patient with me? Signed, Put Off in Pittsburgh. Well. You're right, put off. Your problem with your husband is a common one indeed. Too many men don't take the time and steps necessary to ensure the woman's sexual gratification. Frankly, I believe it's a combination of laziness and ignorance, and I would not put up with it. I would tell this lazy lover of yours that he'd better start putting in the proper amount of time with you, or he'll have all the time he wants by himself. Let's see how much he likes the photos in the girly magazines then. You see, men basically act this way because women allow them to. So open up the lines of communication and voice your needs in a gentle but firm way. He'll get the picture, or it will only be pictures he gets. <laughs> Andy? <laughs> you think this is just so funny, don't you? <laughs> you know, I just want to say it's very easy for you women to sit around and complain about this. You girls have no idea how much easier it is to make love to a man than it is to make love to a woman. Not that I've done field research. <laughs> it's just that the female body should come with an instruction manual, and it doesn't. Women have all these tiny, little, elusive spots men are supposed to go on a scavenger hunt to find. <laughs> little, teeny bit, and they keep moving. One night you think you found one, and the next night you're in the wrong country, pal. You can get so lost down there, you have to drop breadcrumbs behind yourself to find your way back out again. Men don't have spots. We have an area. You come three or four feet within that, you're doing okay by us. Hell, just show up. <laughs> And to make matters worse, no two women are the same. The skills you learn from one woman may not be applicable to the next. That little kinky game that turns one woman into a dynamo can get you put in jail for sexual battery with another. Not to mention a nasty letter from the animal rights people. <laughs> You've covered my point exactly. You see, too many men reduce lovemaking to spots or moves or some mechanical checklist to run through. You know, you're ignoring the woman's emotional needs. These needs must be met in order for her to enjoy the sexual experience. Yeah, but, yeah, but, 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 it's just what I'm saying. Let's cover these emotional needs. What okay, are they? Okay, they're very, very simple. There are few women need a degree of compassion, ah, sensitivity, sensitivity, love, affection, commitment, tenderness, foreplay. Men Perhaps need little... friction. <laughs> Not even a lot. One or two fricks. That'll usually do it. <laughs> Hell, men can bump into stuff and it feels good. You see what I'm saying? You just can't compare. Look, look, look. There are a number of books that men can read that perhaps no, will No, 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 no. There are no books. No books. There are tons of books about men for women, but there's no books about women for men. Want to know why? Because nobody could write it. Nobody understands women. Women don't even understand women. Who could write this book? All about women. Chapter one, page one. I don't know. Pfft. End the book. Andy. Andy, Andy, Andy. Many of these problems can be solved just by slowing down. Simply slowing down. Nothing could be easier. You think so, huh? Mm. Let me tell you something about men. All of our lives, we are rewarded for being fast. In grade school, the fastest guy got picked for kickball. In high school, some guys got scholarships to college because they ran fast. In the workforce, we are given raises and promotions for completing assignments fast. And now, the one thing we can naturally do fast, our God-given ability, you want me to ignore that. It ain't right. 
You have no idea how frustrating oh, it is. please. All right, let me put it this way. Has somebody ever asked you for directions, but you were already going that way, so instead of giving directions, you just suggested they follow you in your car? Certainly. Okay. So, you're driving along, and you're making sure they're right behind you. You're turning when, turning when you turn, signaling way in advance, and because you're a caring, sensitive person, you're going slow so they can keep up. You with me? Yes, and the point is... I'm getting there. So, let's say you come to a yellow light. Mm -hmm. Now, you go through because you know where you're going and you can do it fast. But they stop because the light is about to turn red. So now you have to pull over and wait for them. And you're thinking, come on, I could be there already. <laughs> Don't you hate that? It's somewhat annoying. That's what it's like. Thanks, that's all of our time. Keep those cards and letters coming, and we'll do our best. Is that your